geometric solids. These are basically just naming the geometric solids that you need to know here. By the way, what is a solid? A solid, Lady Kavarnik, is something that is. Well, they could be hollow. Geometric solids are three dimensional. So rather than thinking about a piece of paper, which we call a plane, these are actual shapes or things that take up space, kind of like a book. A book is a geometric solid. As a matter of fact, it's kind of. One of the ones that we're going to talk about. Let me show you how to draw this. These are the mathematical names. Sometimes you call them boxes or whatever, but the mathematical name, and I'll show you how to draw this. Uh, the first one is this. Start with a nice rectangle. Draw another nice rectangle, the same exact size as much as you can. And then connect what we call the corresponding sides. Some of them are, should be dash lines because you can't see them. Anybody know the name of that geometric solid? And you can shade them if you like. Sometimes the shading is kind of fun. You got this side here. And you got this side here. Here. The exact mathematical name of that shape, anybody Brooklyn says? It is. Are you looking at your book? It is a rectangular prism. Made up of all rectangles, that's why it's a rectangle prism. Now, a square prism, we have a special name for that. I'm sure you've seen it. If you take a square and do the same exact thing with it, so if they can't draw a square, it's got to be about this size. You know, we call it, we have dice that have those things on there. But we don't call that a square prism. The special name for a square prism is, Jaden? Is cube. A number cube, a number guy, a number whatever. Oh boy. Now, another one here, this one. I think you'll like this one. If the shape, let's start with kind of a square base like this. If the shape comes to a point up here, and you connect that point with all these sides, <laughs> things that come to those points, they are called, in Egypt, you see the great what, Danny? Yeah, these are pyramids. We should have like a singing competition. Yeah. We should like all sing that song. Yeah. Two plus two. Break it down. We'll survive. Drop that. If you were getting well, If you'd like to talk about this outside, feel free to leave. Pyramids. Um, and you can have. They do have their certain names. So this would be a rectangular pyramid or whatever, but we're not going to up here. Just knowing it's a pyramid. And you can do that with any shape. You could have an octagon and do that same thing. You can have an octagonal pyramid. It would look a little like this. One, two, three, oops, four. I'm not going to do it. Forget it. Skip it. No octagon up here. That's for us. Right, just move along. Good. How about this one? Um, the 
the thing that looks like a can. What's the mathematical name, Keith, for the thing that looks like a can? Yeah. This is a cylinder. And the shape that looks like our ball, mathematical name for our proverbial ball is so the name of our ball there, Lance. <laughs> and the last one <laughs> and the last one looks like this. So make sure you have your notes or know those geometric solids and what shapes look like those. In addition to that, we've got a couple definitions I need to go over. Um, the little points of these shapes. <coughs> We call those what? Does anybody know? Nope, not the corners. The little points are called teeth. Vertexes? Well, vertices. One of them is a vertex. The plural of vertex is vertices. So we don't want more than one. How many vertices does a cube have? Count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has eight vertices. And then, if you're talking about right there, the places where two sides come together and meet, those are called. Not vertex, but for these. Those are the points. These are the vertexes. Now I'm talking about where the two sides meet and form kind of an edge. We call that key. Uh, As if you did say it four times. No, those are edges. Edges are the places where two of those sides meet, which Keith just said the last thing you need to know is faces. Faces are the sides. Okay, so you've got, you need to know what vertex, vertex, vertices are, edges, and faces. So let's look at one. I'm going to try drawing my octagonal crystal here. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see, I've got this octagonal pyramid. When I was growing up, we used to have playgrounds that had these things on them. Now I'm sure they're far too dangerous, but you know, you could sit between these and then there's a pole in the middle and you could bang the thing up against the pole and now, now apparently that's too dangerous. If I asked you how many vertices 
how many vertices does this shape have? In other words, how many points do you come to? We know it's got one up there. How many around the bottom? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it has how many total? Nine. Nine vertices. How many edges? Yep, you got all these around the outside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you've got the ones that go up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many? Sixteen edges. And how many faces? And each one of these would be a face. Every flat side. Here's a face. Here would be a face. All those going around. And then the bottom face. Nine. Nine faces. If you have a sphere, how many edges? How many vertices? Zero. Would it have a face? Yes. Yeah. Two. Two. One. 